Two pest control companies and one plumber, and they're still scratching in that attic area. So we're about to hunt these rats down right now. So this is a younger couple. They just bought their home in January, and about a month later, they started hearing some scratching sounds. So they hired their first pest control company to come out. They said that the crawl space door was open, and that was probably the issue. So they sealed that up but the issue continued to get worse. But they're saying, hey, these could be sewer rats. You're going to need a plumber. Plumber showed up, they installed a backflow device, they did an inspection, and they can't find it. The cool thing is, these plumbers did say, hey, do you know these twins on YouTube? And our customer here says, oh, absolutely, I've seen their videos. So thanks, uh, plumber, for referring us or, or mentioning our name, I appreciate it. So we're gonna head over there right now, and just kind of double check everything and see what's going on. Hi, how are you? Good, yourself? Good, good. Awesome, thanks for having me here. Of course, thank you okay. for coming. <laughs> you're welcome. So, show me a little bit about uh, the affected areas that you're getting the activity. Okay, definitely. Where I kind of like felt it, kind of, is like down here, this corner, this whole area right there. Okay. Now I hear it like up there in that corner. Okay. And then in this bathroom now. So today, actually, this morning, I heard it like up there. Got so it. that's why I think they moved up. Is this the only bathroom you have? This one and this one. Oh, okay, yeah. two bathrooms. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And nothing in the tub areas, you know, right? Or, nothing like... that I've seen, no. I'm making sure we keep the toilets closed because I've seen videos of them coming yeah. up. Yeah, it's like a banging sound, huh? Mm -hmm. It's really loud. It's like, that's the bad days. There's okay. been other days where you just kind of like hear them scurrying around. Okay. Um, but like I said, it's been two months. We've had that other pest company come out. They've sealed everything up and they're just kind of like there's nothing more we can really do i mean are you kidding me are you kidding me you gotta be kidding me and uh, how long ago was the repair done the plumbing repair we just did it uh they finished yesterday oh yeah. okay so they literally just finished here's on the video you can kind of see it was that area they said uh -huh. okay what are you gonna do a thorough inspection underneath the crawl space okay and then um up in the attic as well mm -hmm. and then we'll perform a smoke test to rule out the plumbing and then from there we'll we have a better idea of how they're getting in. Okay, perfect. All right, so the team's arrived. Let's go up on the roof. Let's take a look at what we have up here. The vent pipes have been secured. I don't know if I like that, but we'll fix that back up. Got a tight space, huh? What I'll do, Victor, is let's set the smoke machine up. I'll set it up and then I'll pump it. So while you're under there, you can see if there's any smoke coming out below that shower. Okay, sounds good. So right here is a brand new clean out that the plumbers installed. But I can't even, I can't even pull this off. You're gonna need the jaws of life to get out of those things. There we go. Yeah, 10-4. I think we just introduced it in the other bathroom, though. I'm just showing Daniel where we're at here. He's up in the attic. Okay, that help? Yeah. Trying to show him where the scratching is to see if there's any nest or activity that we can identify. There's piping right here in this wall. I'm gonna go up on the roof real quick and check on Enrique. Can we get in smoke? Yeah, I already covered all of them. Oh, we got smoke at yeah. all of them? Yeah. Okay, 10-4, we have smoke and all the pipes coming up. Okay, so there's no uh, rat dropping. No? No. Okay. Victor was able to crawl underneath the shower. I'm gonna remove this right here to give him stuff. The crawl space is so tight, so it's just easier to remove this so we can hand them things to perform the proper exclusion work. So we're getting smoke right there, which is the vent pipe for the uh, shower. So we're gonna have to open up that wall. I'm gonna go ahead and run the camera down that two inch vent pipe. Okay, take a little nap in there, okay? Just close your eyes and relax and just fall asleep a little bit. Okay, we are on to something. Been here for about, about an hour and a half. We're gonna run that camera down that vent pipe and see if we can identify something. You watch us on YouTube? Yeah. No way. Can I come give you a fist bump? Yeah. Okay. We got a fan here, guys. A little. How old are you? Nine. You're nine and you're watching us on YouTube? Right on. Right. What'd you think? Huh? We're hiring. Sometimes. Are you ready to go underneath the house and chase these rats down? No. No? <laughs> okay. Well, we're on to something right now. So okay. 
and you'll see this episode on YouTube. So well, he'll be on it. He'll be on right. it. All right. Yeah. Anything else you want to say to the world? Uh, no. No. But tell them to love God. Oh God. Love, love God. God. Okay. Uh, all right. Have a great day. Okay. We are smoking. All right. We got to unload all this smoke out of the system so our camera can see the uh, inside walls of the pipe here. Here we go. Ooh, look at the scratch marks. You see the scratch marks inside the pipes there. Ooh, right there. See it? Oh no. Got my camera stuck. Cause this thing's not coming out, man. $10,000 camera here, guys. Can't get this thing stuck. Daniel feels confident that um, he can do it. Went through? I went through. Cheese! Give me $100,000. We're getting smoke coming out of that. Uh -huh. That's exactly where you pointed out earlier. Yeah, that bottom corner. Yes. See how the pipe's going up right there? Yeah. You can see the chew marks in the wood. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is open up the wall in your bedroom. Okay. Where you have your... Yeah. Uh, the clothes. The yeah, clothes there, yeah. Fine. We'll build a containment. We'll open up the wall there okay. to, to get access to it. I try to run a camera, but my camera's not making it all the way. Okay. But um, it needs to get opened up because you should be getting any smoke like that at all. Okay. Okay, so they just approved us to open up the wall here. House is spotless, so we're going to build our containment right here to prevent all... All that dust and particulates going everywhere. This gets rid of all the odors to the outside as you've seen in other videos. It should be out like this. Okay, so we've opened up behind the shower here. You could see the massive amount of rat grease here. Look at that. And look at this dead rat right there. Pulling that out. A lot of nesting material. And then right here, the big find. Look at that. Open pipe. Neutralize this. Oh, you saw so away. Because it smells bad. Oh, he's been sleeping a while. So he's been sleeping for probably about three, four months. Maybe longer. Okay, so this is what we found. So see how they were coming up through the sewer pipe? Yeah. Right through here, and then they were getting into your, underneath your shower. And we just pulled the dead one out. So we're gonna neutralize everything, vacuum and clean this. We're gonna cut this out. We're gonna end up having to open up more to put a, a vent. It's called a Studer vent inside okay. of this wall here. That so was, that's basically, that was just open like that? That's just how they have it? <laughs> well, no, no. What happened was uh, during the remodel, mm -hmm. they cut this pipe and then they forgot mm -hmm. to seal it up. Seal it up. That's why you were getting up up in the attic because they were coming through here and then climbing up. Okay, perfect. Get rid of this small piece here that had the nail holes in it. Level that off. The rats might come down here tonight. See what's going on. So we probably should get like a sticky pad or a trap right there. Yes! What a great find. These are the moments right here where it, it just gets exciting when you can solve the mystery and you can see how amazing these rats can get into those tight spaces there. It's, it's unbelievable, but I just wanted to share this excitement with you guys. I love this, man. So I'm gonna head out, get some plumbing parts while they're gonna prep up the walls here, come back and get this bad baby tightened up here. Here's their runway right here to the attic. This hole right here, and they were going right up here. In fact, we just heard one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop them coming down and then going, there's a hole right there that I just sealed. I'm going back in here. We don't want a dead rat underneath the shower pan. I'm debating whether I should just leave the hole to the crawl space open and just catch them down below. We've got some traps in the crawl space. So I'm kind of debating there. Leave your comments, what would you do? Okay, we took some uh, Flex Seal and just encapsulated all of the rat droppings after we did the aggressive wipe down with our enzyme treatment and hit all these runways. What this does, what I found is that the odor that sits inside the, the wood, especially on a lot of rat hot spots where, uh, where there's a, a lot of heavy activity with the wood, you want to encapsulate it after you do an enzyme treatment. So that way the smell doesn't eventually percolate through all this uh, drywall material here. Put some metal here just in case he gets real aggressive, wants to chew through here, all kinds of metal here. He's got no other choice but to come from the attic down here and then into the crawl space. So I think what I'm gonna do is take some of our bolt glue, put around here and as he's climbing through here, we might, might be able to catch him. Sticky. Oh yeah, look at that. A rock bubble gum. <laughs> look at Berlin going to town in the bubble gum. Oh, 
people ever put that in your mouth. It's not a good idea. Just kidding. That was some pretty good acting. Leave your comments if you thought that was pretty good acting. Let's just shove it in here. Oh yeah. This is called the, the rat's ass trap. It's when he comes through here and gets his ass stuck on it. So we got a bunch of traps up in the attic. Or if he comes down here, which he's going to want to come down and try to get out. He hits the, the most amazing in-wall rat trap right here, folks. What I did is I took, there's a hole that I left to go into the crawl space. Oh. So they can no longer come from the attic down and then get underneath your shower. Because I didn't want them to die underneath your shower right. and have a hard time. Yeah. So I sealed that off. They're no longer going to be able to get underneath that shower, which we want. Awesome, yeah. And what about the attic, if they're up there? If they're at, yeah, there's rat traps up there right now. Okay. So Perfect. they're gonna have either get hit up, up in the attic. So tonight mm -hmm. might be a crazy night. You might hear a lot of ruckus, which is totally normal. Yeah. And it's actually a good sign. Okay, Perfect. So I just want you to know that. Yeah. Okay? Awesome, thank All right. you. Okay, so we've got this sealed off and then we've got our camera right down in there, pointing directly to the glue trap in the wall here. Yeah, I think sleeping in another bed Bedroom might be a, a good option. A okay. Good option. Yeah, we'll do yeah. so far. So, so good. far. So okay. I'm just I'm ready for this to be over, honestly, because okay. we've been well, at I feel it. Pretty, so. <laughs> I feel pretty confident. I'm watching you on your show right now. No way. Yeah. Is it look. is it the best show you've ever yeah, seen in your entire cool. life? That's pretty cool. Let's yeah. See. Let's see. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. You guys do a lot of hard, good work. Nice Thank you. And both handsome. Thank you. Handsome. Look at that good looking guy. Who is that? <laughs> Somebody stop me. I, I asked him, I said, which one were you the one talking to in the twin? He goes, the one that's real buff. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nice meeting you. All right, this is the next day. She definitely, definitely heard some loud ruckus noise last night. And that was even far away from the bedroom that she's sleeping in. So I'm excited to see what we caught. Hopefully my glue caught onto something. The camera uh, didn't really give us a really good visual on it. So that's why I'm driving out here today to see if we caught anything. Stay tuned, leave your comments. Do you think I got one? Or do you think he's still alive? So you heard some noise last night? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely heard some was, it, was it louder than usual? Um, it, I, I don't think so. No? I don't think, yeah. But I mean, I was in this room, so, so right. I couldn't really. But you heard it from this I could hear far it from bedroom. over there, yeah. Okay. All right, no luck. Um, it's interesting, he's got a big dropping right here. Is that the biggest crap you've ever seen or what? Possibly could got, got away. Okay, just in case, we'll check the crawl space to see. Maybe he's stuck down below here, right where my light's at. That's where that pipe goes up the wall. Three weeks later. Okay, so we're back. It's been several weeks. Let's check in with Lily and see how it's been. So it's been several weeks, would you yeah, say? I'd say about probably at least two and a half weeks, okay. not longer. But yeah, it's, it's been a- It's been pretty quiet. It's nice, quiet, yeah, after we heard him last time, which was the night that you came and did the work. After that night, I haven't heard him again, which has been wonderful. <laughs> right, so. but the mysterious part is, where did, where did he go, they go? Right? Exactly. right? So, so as long as they're not, you know, making you know. noise or whatever, wherever they went, <laughs> They could die yeah. peacefully there. <laughs> I'm definitely going to check the uh, crawl space to uh -huh. see if he's dead under there. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the plumbing. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll crawl underneath and do a, a last inspection. Okay. Sounds All right? good. Okay. Awesome. Thank awesome. you, guys. All right. So we completed the connection there. The pipe right here. Studer vent. All right, now that the shower is done outside, we're gonna go underneath the crawl space, check to see if there's a dead rat. It's not getting any odor, but I wanna double check. Let's go hunt this rat down. What do you think? Leave in your comments. You think I'm gonna find a dead rat or no? Well, the traps here have not deployed. Two of them here. Let's go down a little further. Nothing yet? No, not yet. I gotta get underneath this pipe right here. Uh, oh, whoo! Come on, Bubba, where are you? If you got any of that glue on him, you're not gonna be able to move around a lot. Oh, are you all right? I don't know. Nothing, no odor, nothing. I was hoping I could see him stuck to something, but uh, no luck, so it's gonna be a, a mystery for sure. So no rats, huh, Dave? Nothing, nope, it's all sealed off here too. We opened this area, I just wanna make sure that we, yeah. we closed it back up, which we did. Good. This at least deserves the rat dance.
100%. It deserves the Rat Dance, and we're gonna do it right now. Add a little flavor to this here. Here we go, guys. They, they sealed it all up. Well, they put right. that thing on the side there, basically the backflow or whatever thing. I had a company before that, a pest company that was I was dealing with for about two months. I had to keep calling them over and over and over again. <laughs> they didn't really reach out to me that often. I was like, I'm done with that. So I called you guys. What's Here funny we is are. that the other plumber recommended us too though, the right? The plumbers recommended you guys and even the pest company was like, maybe you guys should reach out to this guy because of the smoke test. Oh, They, said they do yeah. the smoke test and I mean, not a lot of companies do that. So yeah. I, I saw in videos too, they reach out to you guys, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 so I mean, you guys are it. If I ever have an issue again, I'm just calling you guys first, oh, so. Okay. So that's the moment right there when you've got a happy customer who's been through so much sleepless nights, dealing with multiple pest control companies, even plumbers, and they still can't solve it. We come in, we're able to save that day. That's where it's at for us right here. Anyhow, guys, leave your comments, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.